Dunn's brilliant at digging. <laughs> He's dug up an old stick. <coughs> Gaston, fetch! <coughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. <coughs> oh, it's raining. Round to Umbrella. Wow! <laughs> Let's play indoors. Come on, Gaston. Dee dee da, dum dee dum dee do. Ah, I love a clean kitchen. Hello, Nanny Clam. No, don't let that ladybird into my kitchen. He's making muddy footprints everywhere. Get off the floor. Not on the table. Shoo shoo. This is a food preparation area. <laughs> Where's he going now? Maybe he's gone to see Daddy. He likes Daddy. <laughs> uh, who let this smelly ladybird in the house? Ah! Holly! Yes, Daddy? Please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. We live in the castle. Gaston lives outside. Never mind, Gaston. Let's all go to the great elf tree instead. <laughs> Mrs Elf, that blueberry pie smells delicious. Yes, Mr Elf. The secret is to cook it very slowly over three days. Hello, Mum. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. <laughs> oh, can't he shake himself outside? Pie is not for you, Gaston. <coughs> now, Ben, Gaston should live outside. We live inside. OK, Mum. Ah! Where's the pie gone? Gaston's eaten it! We don't know it was Gaston. It could have been someone else. He's the only one with pie on his face! <coughs> Out, Gaston! I never want to see you again. Sorry, Gaston. You'd better go home. Go on, Gaston. Off you go. Bedtime, Holly. Ah. Uh, Are you all right, darling? I'm a bit sad. Gaston isn't allowed in our houses anymore. Oh. Gaston. Oh. Oh. Gaston is all wet and cold. Oh. Gaston. Go and make that rocket somewhere else. Poor Gaston. Gaston! 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 Hello, Ben. I can't find Gaston anywhere. Maybe he's in his cave. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? He must have gone off somewhere to be sad. Don't worry. I'll find him. Elves are good at finding ladybirds and I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! 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 Gaston? Oh, where are we? I don't know. I've never been here before. Oh, it's a door. Speak, friend, and enter. <gasps> a talking door. Hello. Hello. I wonder what's behind it. That's for me to know and you to find out. Ooh, let's get the grown-ups. A talking door? Yes, Daddy. It said, speak, friend, and enter. Oh, that will be the old dwarf mine. Dwarf mine? Yes. The dwarves used to dig down into the earth, looking for diamonds and gold and stuff like that. Dig, 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 in a dwarf mine oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. I like diamonds and gold. They're so pretty and sparkly and glittery. Let's take a look at this dwarf mine. What are dwarves like? They're big 
bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. Here's the door. Ooh. It's locked. Speak, friend, and enter. What does that mean? It's a riddle. No entry until you solve the riddle. That's silly. I'll just magic it open. Huh. My magic doesn't work on the door. Yes. Fairy magic and dwarf magic don't mix. Maybe we should just ask nicely. How are you today, Mr. Door? Fine, thank you. Can we come in, please? Speak, friend, and enter. Maybe it means say the word friend. Good idea, Ben. Ahem. <clears throat> Friend. Oh, that was easy. Let's go in. Ben and Holly, you wait outside. Ah, the dwarf mine could be dangerous. Then why are you going in? Uh, well, we're grown-ups. Can we go with you? Uh, why not? If you're with us grown-ups, you'll be safe. As long as the door doesn't shut behind us. Oh. Now what do we do? Wand. Give me light. Maybe we can say friend again to make the door open. Friend. It's a new riddle this time. Oh, all right. What's the new riddle? If a car with a two-litre engine travels up a 15-degree hill at 10 miles an hour, how much fuel will it use if the hill is 100 metres high? Ah. What if we go this way? Lots and lots of tunnels leading for miles. We'd get lost going that way. If only Gaston was here, he could smell his way out. Good idea. Where is Gaston? Yes, where is good old Gaston? You said you never wanted to see him again. And so did you, Dad. Oh, oh. Yes. yes. And now Gaston's off somewhere being sad. Oh. Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> there. All nice and clean again. No, Gaston. Out. Out. What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <gasps> then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. <laughs> Hello? Nanny Plum, thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <laughs> oh. 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 This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston to the rescue! Thank you, Gaston. Oh, Gaston, you're wonderful. <laughs> oh, good boy, Gaston. So, can Gaston come to the little castle now? Yes. And to our house too? Yes. yes. I'll even make him a pie. <laughs> Gaston, thanks for rescuing us. Our hero. <laughs> Oh, panic over.
over, everyone. It's Lucy. We thought it might be someone dangerous. Big people have big feet. Yes, and we don't like being stepped on. Ah! Oops, sorry for stepping on you, Mr Mayor. I didn't see you there. It's fine. Glad it's just you. But it's not just me. My teacher, Miss Cookie, is bringing my whole class here today on the nature trail. Lots of big children and a big teacher. They mustn't see us fairies. Or us elves. Or Mrs Witch. Or the dwarves. Or Redbeard, the elf pirate. Yes, yes, yes. The whole of the Little Kingdom is meant to be secret. That's my class. Here they come. Quick, into the houses. Close the windows and doors. Oh, did I just say little windows in the toadstools? All right, gather round, children. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Here are some toadstools. Tick toadstools off on your lists. Toadstools. Miss Cookie, do toadstools have little windows in them? Uh, no. Lucy, that was close. Yes, but I think we got away with it. Next on the list is an oak tree. Let's go and find one. Oh, no! They're heading towards the great elf tree. We have to get there first. <laughs> big people! Big people! Coming this way! Ah! Big people! Big people! Everyone into the tree! Good. It looks like a normal tree. Oh, look, a little person. Ah! Here we are. You can tell an oak tree by the shape of the leaves. Do oak trees have little people living in them? What? <laughs> of course not. Tick oak tree on your lists, everyone. Oak tree. Phew. That was close. You're telling me. Right. Next on the list is insects. This way, children. Uh-oh. They're heading straight for the little castle. We have to get there first. Wait for me. Daddy! Daddy! Big people are coming. Big people? Quick, close the shutters. Good. Now we're completely hidden. Hidden? But what about the castle? Perhaps they won't notice it. Won't notice it? Won't notice it? A little fairy castle with a flag on top? I know. I'll just magic the castle invisible. Brilliant, Nanny. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. A castle! This field is a perfect place for insects to live. I think I just saw a castle. Then it went invisible. Oh, what fantastic imaginations you children have. Oof. What? There does seem to be something here. I can feel a tower with a flag on top. Uh, Miss Cookie, maybe there are some insects over here. Uh, oh, oh yes, insects. That's what we're looking for. Miss Cookie, I found an insect. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. Lovely. Now, does anyone know what this insect is called? Gaston. What? Oh, uh, I mean, a ladybird. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. All right, children, tick insect on your lists. Insect. And now, on to the lake. I think it's this way. Thank goodness. They're moving away from the little castle. But they're going right towards Mrs Witch's house. No time to lose. How can we hide Mrs Witch? She's huge. Maybe she could pretend she's not a witch. Good idea, Ben. Hello? Hello, Mrs Witch. Listen, uh, there's no time to explain, but you have to pretend you're not a witch. OK. Who am I, then? You're just a nice old lady. OK. Here they come. Remember, you're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. OK. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh, pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs Witch. 
Your name is Mrs Witch? Uh, yes, but I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes. Straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs Witch. Yes, and you're called Miss Cookie, but you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs Witch. Bye! Bye! <laughs> they never suspected a thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard the elf pirate sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard the elf pirate speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie, I'm a toy. Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Miss Cookie, I found a tadpole. Lovely. Tick tadpoles off your list. Tadpoles. And that's the end of today's nature trail. Come on, children, back to school. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Cookie. Well done, Redbeard. They never suspected a thing. It was a close call and no mistake. They've been all over the little kingdom now, but we haven't been discovered. Yes, well done, everyone. The big people have no idea us little people live here. They didn't see the great elf tree or the little castle. And they didn't find out Mrs Witch is a witch. All I can say is it's a good thing they didn't bump into the gnome. dum de dum de doo da Ah! The gnome! dum de dum de doo da Hello. Evening all. Hello. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Party? Is there party food there? I like food. Uh, we're just on a nature trail. Oh, yes. What have you seen on this nature trail? We've seen toadstools and insects and tadpoles. Toadstools, insects, tadpoles? But there's loads more stuff. Really? There's the elves and the fairies. The what? That blabbermouth is giving everything away. How can we stop him? I know. Come on, Gaston. Yes, the elves live in a tree. An oak tree? Yes, it's got tiny windows in it. I thought I saw a castle. You saw it all right, because it's there. The posh fairies live in a little castle. Made of tiny bricks, it is. Is there a witch? Of course. She's called Mrs Witch. And do fairies live in these toadstools? Yes. This is a secret fairy village. Shush. Hey, what's that? Mr Gnome, big people must never know about the little kingdom. Oh, yes, of course. Leave this to me. Now then, you know how I was talking about toadstools, insects and tadpoles? Yes! Right. Everything I talked about after that, forget it. Forget it? Yes. And there's no magic dwarves, dragons or goblins in these woods neither. OK. Come on, class. Let's go home. Bye! Goodbye. I think we just about got away with it. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lucy. That was close. Close? You told them everything. But I also told them to forget it all. Anyway, the little kingdom is safe again. Yes, and it's all thanks to me. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. Okay, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? 
Abracadabra. Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. Again? <laughs> oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Round to Umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. Achoo! Whoops, it sounds like your wand's got a cold. Achoo! Oh, no. Poor Wandy. It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy. The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible! Amazing! That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh. Well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Fleur. Is that a new wand? Yes. It's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game. Yes, what shall we play? Let's play princesses, knights and naughty witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow. 
our real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha! This tower! Whoa! <laughs> wow! How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes! Ooh! Climb up that hair, Ben! Ah, ha, 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 ha! Easy! Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf! <coughs> Here I am! I've come to rescue you! Thank Thank you, brave knight. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. <laughs> oh, we're stuck. Ha 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 ha. Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK, bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry, I've got my Wise Wand 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. Oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. Gaston, you're in a hurry today. Hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old wand never talked. It just... <laughs> oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Tower. Yes, indeed. You. I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. <laughs> I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston. Fetch the stick. You're my best friend. I love you. <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend. <laughs> 